TQQQ and SQQQ. In this video, we'll be going over my trade idea of the week and the day by day probability model. So let's start off with the technical analysis on the 1 hour chart for TQQQ. We have dipped into negative MACD territory. With the 4 hour chart, we are in slightly positive MACD. We did see it diverge. And as we extend that further to the daily chart, we remain in negative MACD. And as with the trade idea, my trade position size for is less than 1% of my portfolio. My entry is at $20.85, and that is its range here. My sell target is at $33.93, and that is its range there. My stop loss is at $27.24. And as for SQQQ, on Friday it closed above 7.8%. On the 1 hour chart, we are in positive MACD. As we extend that further to the 4 hour chart, we still remain in negative MACD. And as we extend that further to the daily chart, we're dipping into negative MACD territory. And as with the trade idea, my trade position size for is less than 1% of my portfolio. My entry is at $43.05. My sub target is at $50.19, and that is its range here. My stop loss is at $41.04. So how did I develop these trade ideas? It all comes from the day-by-day -day probability model, and we're examining QQQQ. TQQQ is a leveraged version of QQQQ, while SQQQ is the inverse leverage of QQQQ, so do keep in mind of that. As we progress to the fifth day, or week of trading, QQQQ has a 36% chance to climb between 0 to 5%, and 18% chance to climb between 5 to 10%. To the downside has a 27% chance to fall between 0 to negative 5%, and 18% chance to fall between negative 5 to negative 10%. So if you enjoy this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.